Oh, <laughs> okay. I made a video earlier this morning where I talked about my cool NES collection and how I love it and I like how, you know, the value of certain NES games are going up there in value. I was feeling great, you know. <laughs> I have stay events. I have low sense and all that and it was cool to reminisce about having those games in my collection again and just looking at them but you know it gets that little misconception up there that I'm super rich and uh, sadly that's a bit further from the truth because I got those games when I was younger when I had like a full-time job and I got the gains while the game was good and the prices were down because right now in 2014 I'm not so rich especially if you know my situation, I'm feeling a lot better now, but yeah, in late July, I went to the hospital because of kidney stone. Well, it was actually gallstones this time, which was a bit more serious. So inside me, there's some gallstones that I still need to get taken out. In fact, I go for surgery, yeah, this coming Tuesday. And yeah, because I was sort of sick for a few weeks, I haven't been able to go to work as often as I used to and I had to skip a few shifts and all that and it sucks but hey I need to get healthy and all that <laughs> I feel good right now but <laughs> I've I'll feel a lot better once the surgery is done all taken care of and I need to get some money because today I just got like the worst possible news I got like a letter in the mail it was red and it was my final note saying you got to pay your protein or propane bill six hundred dollars or you're gonna lose it. Ooh. <laughs> okay, where am I gonna get six hundred dollars? Okay. <laughs> See, if I take some of those classic Nintendo games to pawn shop, hey, will you give me five thousand dollars for my stay events? They're just gonna laugh at my face. But fortunately, I have a game store, Video Games One Hundred One, on the weekend. And yeah, I'm going to be selling some of my rare stuff that I have. Not some of my original Nintendo stuff. <laughs> I can't see the part with that, but that doesn't mean I still have a lot of cool goodies right here. Let me show you it. It's going to be tough to get rid of this stuff, but hey, I need the cash. And you guys will really help me out if you come by on the weekend. Look at this. I got a fully function 64-bit Atari Jaguar. Everybody knows how rare these things are. Yeah. As again, Cybermorph. Yeah, Iron Soldier. Doom. <laughs> Wait, that's not Doom. That's actually Ultra Vortex. Yeah. Tempest 2000. Syndicate. Yeah, Iron Soldier. Zool 2. Yep. Also got the games. Club Drive. Trevor McFur. Kazumi Ninja. Okay. Cybermorph Alien vs. Predator Rayman Yep I have some very rare N64 games Oh yeah This one's not going to go cheap Especially with that label on there Make me an offer <laughs> I need some help <laughs> Normally I want to get rid of that cool game, but yeah, I got to do it. I also got this, a Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Track and Field 2000. Are you watching this, Capsule Dragon? <laughs> yep. And one of my favorite N64 games of all time, WWF No Mercy. I even got an autograph. <laughs> I won't say who, though. Okay. Okay, I also got some Sega Genesis games there, some Super Nintendo reproduction cards, Terra Enigma, Super Mario World, Return to Dinosaur Island, and Super Bat to the Future. All these games are in English. Yeah, I got PSP and some killer games there too. Yep. Mega Man X. Mega Man Powered Up. Bomberman. Yep. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Matt. Doing this one and two. Gratis Collection. Yep. Tekken, Barman, Fancy Star, all great titles. 
I've got some cool Wii games. Yeah. I have the Super Mario All-Stars pack. Yeah, that one includes the soundtrack, you know, and the special little booklet that they give you. Plus the game itself. Yeah. A whole bunch of Sonic games. Some Mortal Kombat. Tons of cool stuff. Yeah, some special collections here. Seen it. <laughs> yeah, and the Kirby collection as well. Some Ed Spots 360 titles. Yeah. Takanatsu versus Capcom. Game and special controller. And yeah. A vintage Atari 2600 controller in box. So those are just some of the cool goodies that I'm going to be bringing down. Oh yeah, I should also mention that I have some very rare Sega CD games. Keo Flying Squadron. That one alone goes for about $400. Final Fight CD and the bots, Slippy, very cool shoe map, Popful Mill, and Wild Woody. <laughs> Plus, also the Sega CD memory card. How often do you see that? Neo Geo Pocket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a lot of cool stuff. A lot of hidden gems in my personal collection. <laughs> I need to make some space. And I'm pretty sure. <laughs> If you're looking for a cool collectible out there, I got it right here. So, I don't know, help me out. <laughs> Visit VO Games 101 tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, 9 to 5. Oh yeah, baby. Once in a lifetime opportunity to own several rarities you've probably never seen before in your life. Get them while you can. Alright, this is Airzonk World Champion. Over and out.